I guess people expect me to reveal the ending for that savage comeback I did in the previous video, but the thing is, the answer was right there. Under that little button, show more, that leads you to the unlisted video that reveals the ending. <laughs> A lot of you people actually guessed about it, and I applaud Observation Hockey Masters. So technically, there is nothing to reveal, it already had been revealed. I actually dropped a lot of leads in a comment section, but they were kind of uh, ignored, I guess. Anyway, now to the bone clay. You know how One Piece has this problem of ugly designs? Like, I don't even need to show you, there are some designs in this anime that are nightmares. <laughs> I don't know, they're terrifying. And Bon Clay kind of uh, steps on the line of it. Just if you make him a little bit more ugly, he will get into the zone of, yes, that's the design that should have not been there, but is there. As a character, though, in the manga and anime, he's actually really damn cool. I mean, he is the reason why I have respect for transsexuals. One may stray from the path of man, one may stray from the path of woman, but there is no straying from the path of human. He is also the last character that is left on the roster for me. I mean, every single character, every other single character, has been featured in some of my Burning Blood videos. You just have to find it. So I guess from now on I can do tier lists and whatever because I've played all the characters. Also means that the series is like 70% completed for Burning Light on my channel since we've been playing this game for at least a year or so. Anyway, speaking of Bon Clay as the gameplay perspective character, has this one move called... Uh, Okama Fist, or Don't Mind Me Fist, that is insanely powerful. He is also this type of character that is kinda easy to play, so he is really beginner friendly. And despite him not having Haki, he has a lot of avoiding moves, and the Okama Fist, or Don't Mind Me Fist, I'm gonna call it Okama Fist, drains so much of the Logia bar that it's just insane, he is really strong and underrated in both anime and the game. And I wasn't sure if I should pick Sanji or Ivankov in the team, or do the Baraku works, but since it's the year of Sanji, why not? He's also not the strongest character and it balances out the opiness of Okuma Fist. Even though... For some reason, he gets a buff from girl being in a team, even though there are no girls in the team from the get-go. It's kind of weird, but it is so. Uh, they probably would have had amazing teamwork, technically, but because I took trouble in my team, it just ain't happening. I didn't want to make the team too powerful, though, so... We're good. Okay, this guy is not reacting on my light guard breaks in the engaging move of Sanji. Bone Clay has the same stuff. He can actually uh, use the light guard break after the engage move and it will combo. Try to cancel it into the Ferrero Shea or whatever that move is called, but didn't work. Didn't know why. I heard you can skywalk from it from his impulse stuff, but I decided to not risk it. Oh. He's using Moria. Nobody uses Moria. Alright, the problem here is that I'm not really that good at closing the distance with this character. Shit. And for some reason I have more buffs, I have plus 5 to attack on Von Clay, even though he should not have any specific buffs besides the ones given by support. 
Oh god. He's supposed to teleport behind you, but he didn't. See how much damage that does? That was like 4 hit combo that consisted out of one special move and squares, and it did more damage than Mihawk's combo. I have no idea what I tried to do there. And just in case you're wondering, Nami clone is almost the same as the normal one clay. The only deep what? The only difference being Oh god. The only difference being the animation. Shit, I thought he's gonna turn around, but alright. The animation of his guard break that is a unique guard break when he turns into a girl and stuns enemy, no matter what the enemy is. I mean it's similar to Boa's stun. God damn it. Have to make a read. Alright. I would have been in trouble if he actually teleported behind me, which didn't happen. Now, he always, he always tries to dash in the middle. This is GG. What? That usually connects, but for some reason, it didn't connect. Bullshit. There's no supports. Full team top tier. Two Logias and Luffy, meaning that all of them can escape Bonclay's combos if they have the meter for Haki. Okay. Sanji should technically carry all the Logia all the Logias. Didn't guess, but he's gonna dash in the middle, he didn't. Okay. Oh god! Nice reflexes. Really nice mash. Not sure if he did it on purpose. Alright, full combo punish. Oh god! Improvisation! I didn't expect my meter to end so fast. Nope, he legit reacts to it. That was... Not the case of luck. Wow, plus four! Plus four and I get that amount of damage per the heavy guard break on Sanji. Buff, please. Nice. Would have been a death of me if I didn't block it. I mean, didn't interrupt it. That's the guard break, the second guard break that he has, but... It's so lame that I can't really pull it off on people because you have to be really close in order for it to work. Thought I'm doing something smart, but not. Because this stuff is having a lot of reach. Okay, solid 40%. There was complete luck, I was about to dodge it, but just the timing. Okay, this time I'll block it and punish because this is supposed to be punishable, but whatever game. Okay, I'm a bit in trouble since if Sanji dies, never mind. This is. Ugh, bad. Punish. Now, uh, I would have not had enough haki to actually complete the combo. So I improvised in the middle, and I forgot that he actually reacts to it. Okay, that was mash, so not a lot of damage. Aha! He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna use the meter in order to escape. So I have to do the special from the beginning instead of the combo. And the special should do enough damage to actually kill him. Wasn't enough range. Oh yes! Lame cancel! <laughs> that is gimmicky. Very gimmicky, but it works. Nice. He still has the full meter, so didn't risk attacking and giving him another full combo. He's gonna log it through, isn't he? Shit. That would have complete depleted all of his lo all of <laughs> I'm winning this. 
that's what I get for trying to show off the guard break again. But I'm just gonna run away, because he's dangerous in this mode, not only because he does a lot of damage, but because if he ultimates my uh, Bon Clay, I'm dead. I'm just dead. So I better run. Not engage much. He can actually heal, but he did. What? He was right in front of you! He was right in front of you! Derp like Sanji. Ugh. Okay, this might be getting dangerous because he healed and uh, I'm down to one character and he has advantage on Logia and advantage on speed. What if I get him once? What if he gets me twice? Alright. Oh, that barely does any damage! Shit, 30 seconds left. I know One Piece might not always have the greatest designs, but what it excels at is, at no matter how the character looks like, making him badass. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, Fist! I just beat Marcus Phoenix fight mid combo! Holy shit! What? I I said fucking range attack. Come on, dude, no. There got to be a decent, more decent. I will follow up to this, but I don't know it. He's gonna try and guard break when I come close, isn't he? Oh, now it hits! Now it hits! This game isn't consistent as fuck.